Repliant AI is a social media comment manager that automatically replies to comments to help keep your engagement up and improve your organic reach. Watch my honest Repliant AI review to see if this is any good. Now, if you're looking for the best software to grow your business, click the link in my description to get free access to my Notion doc of my must-have SaaS tools for digital entrepreneurs. Now, if you click on that second link in my description, you can access my private AppSumo vault of my current favorite AppSumo deals you can purchase right now, including a list of my most popular uh, YouTube videos you can watch right over here. Now, you can grab lifetime access to Repliant AI on AppSumo uh, starting at $59 for Plan 1, and you can stack up to three codes for $177. Now, one brand is a collection of all social media platforms. I have Plan 2, which gives me uh, two brands, and I'll show you how the brands and social media platforms work together. Now, keep in mind that regardless of how many codes you stack, you will be tied to all future Light Plan updates. That's basically their starter plan on their website. Now, earlier today, I went through all of these Q and A's and what I did was created a short list of everything you need to know before you make a purchase. And I included a summary in the comments below. So be sure to check that out before you leave. So after you create your account with Repliant AI, the next step is to create your brand so you can name it anything you want. This is your company name. This could also be um, one of your clients as well if you are managing their social media. And then you can choose between a brand or an influencer to describe your brand. And then the last step is to connect your social media channels. So for my brand, Kenneth Fong, I did connect my Instagram account and my TikTok. So to add a channel, just click on add additional channels. So aside from Instagram and TikTok, you can also connect Facebook and LinkedIn. It looks like they are working on Google, YouTube, Threads, X, and also Snapchat integrations. So hopefully they add these integrations soon. And aside from connecting your channels, you can also add additional sources for best AI comment suggestions. So you can connect uh, your website and also upload documents as well to help train the AI to best respond to people who leave comments on your social media uh, profiles. So this is the dashboard for my brand. You'll see all of your latest comments right over here and also see an overview of all of the comments that you've answered, liked, and also hid over the last 30 days, seven days, and the last 24 hours. You can also see an overview of the sentiment analysis. So you'll know whether or not the comments are positive, neutral, or negative. And you'll also get a summary of the automation level. So how many were automatic or manual in terms of the replies, okay? So if you go to the comments section, you could view all of the open comments in this panel right here. Now for each comment, you can organize them by these different tags, okay? So person tagged only, person tagged, emoji only, not sure, complaint, against brand, spam, so on and so forth. So if you have a lot of comments, this is a great way to organize them. Now, if you click on the comment, you could view the thread over here and also the post details. So what post they commented on, okay? So it looks like uh, this person right here commented on one of my uh, latest uh, TikTok videos. And then you can open it with TikTok and just take a look at what it's all about. Now this is clearly spam and I don't see their comment on my TikTok post, which means they probably deleted their account so I can't reply back. So we have the option to hide or favorite this comment. Now if we click on this check, it'll go to our done section. So these are all of the comments that we basically reviewed. And then we can go back to the open comments right here. Now let's take a look at this one. So this person put these emojis here on um, this uh, TikTok video of mine. I discovered a new type of and as we could see here, we could see um, their comment. So if we go back here, we can see the sentiment, 
the tags. We can, you know, favorite it if we want. So if I go back to TikTok, you could see that I favorited um, this comment. So I can do all of that inside Repliant AI. And after I like it, it automatically goes to the done column because I already interacted with this comment. Now, the most important or main feature of the tool are the list of recommended replies right here. So we see a favorite answer, the first alternative reply, and also the second one, okay? So this is all AI generated. I didn't come up with these replies. Replies actually did uh, for me. So you could see it says posted right here, which basically means I liked uh, the comment, but I could also reply with text as well. Now, before I reply with text, I can edit the AI generated response. And maybe I can add uh, this emoji as well, basically to follow what they commented. And then I can click on send. So it says reply successful. So when I go back to TikTok, you can see my reply right over here, okay? So really cool. And then looking at my other open comments, this one was automatically marked as spam, which uh, makes sense. So I'm gonna check this to mark it as done. And then this last one here, this one looks like a genuine comment. And a few months ago, I automatically already replied. So this one is good. So I'm gonna check this. So now that one goes to the done column. So great, so there are no new comments to answer. So if you get a lot of comments, Replyance AI is a great way to kind of manage all of them, keep track of what everyone is saying at a high level, see the sentiment analysis of all of the comments, and then let AI come up with replies. And then you can automatically reply to them via the tool without having you to log in manually and comment commenting them yourself. Now under automations, this is where it gets even more powerful. So user automations let us fully take care of your social media channels for selected use cases. So this is where we don't even need to manually reply inside this tool. Repliant will automatically do it for you. Okay, so if we click on add automation, we need to name the automation. So let's just say maybe you are a service provider, maybe a restaurant, and you don't want any negative comments to be on all of your posts. You can kind of keep track of those negative sentiments using an automation, okay? So let's give this a name. I'm gonna say a negative comment. You also have the option to trigger the automation only once, but I'm gonna turn that off. So if you have a variety of options here, so first AI suggestions, if there is a specific comment tag, the sentiment platform comment text, if there is a specific text in the comment, post ID, so to monitor a specific post, um, a specific person, comment hierarchy, post type, so let's just click on sentiment is one of, I'm gonna say a negative, we can execute the following tasks for the conditions set, okay? So we need to wait either one minute up to 30 minutes or even do a random to make it look more natural. Let's just say one minute because the sentiment is negative. So I really wanna make sure I reply to a negative uh, comment. So for the actual action, I can decide to automatically hide it, like it, mark comments as done, send the comment, send email notification. So you can also send a webhook notification as well. We can block the user, send them a private message or delete the comment. Now I want to click on send email notification. Okay, so if the sentiment is one of negative, then send email notification. So I'm gonna click on save. Okay, so we have one automation. There's also other ones as well that are saved as templates. This first one is, if comment tags is one of contest, then mark comment as done. You can also send an email notification for pricing questions, answer all Facebook comments automatically, so on and so forth. So let's give this automation a try. So I wanna test the automation out, okay? So what I'm gonna do is leave a negative comment on one of my Instagram posts, and I wanna see if this um, automation actually runs. Okay, so I logged into my um, company's Instagram account, 
And this is my other Instagram um, profile you just saw. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to leave a negative comment. I'm just gonna say, I don't like this video, it sucks, and I am going to post it. Okay, so here is uh, my negative comment right here. I'm gonna go back to Repliant AI, and we can see there is this notification here for one uh, new comment, and here we go. So it automatically tags it as against the brand, and it is a complaint. And this is the email that I automatically received, okay? So automation has been triggered, okay? So it says here, the following comment has triggered an automation for your brand, Kenneth Fong. So you could see uh, the comment and by the person. The sentiment is, a, is of course negative. It automatically tagged it a complaint and against brand. So now if you are, you know, a restaurant or a service provider and you wanna make sure um, all of the negative comments are being replied to by yourself, then this is a great automation to have. Then you could click on go to comment and it'll automatically go to the comment right here. And then you could see this red bar. So it shows you that it's kind of like a negative uh, comment. And then on the bottom, you can hide it so it's basically hiding the comment. And there's also a couple of other alternatives. So all good, not every post will be for everyone. Appreciate you stopping by though. Haha, <laughs> fair enough. AI ain't for everyone, but I'll try to win you back with the next one. Stay tuned. Now, as you use the tool and as the AI learns from your content, these replies will kind of match the way you speak and your brand, okay? Now, I don't wanna hide um, this negative comment, I want to maybe reply with this one. So I'm gonna click on send. Okay, and it says reply successful. So now we can go to done and it's automatically in the done column. Now if I go back to um, this post and refresh it, okay, and we can see here I replied. So all good, uh, not every post will be for everyone. Appreciate you stopping by though. So really cool, really easy. Now I wanna touch on the brands, okay? So for the AppSumo deal, I have uh, two codes, which gives me two brands, okay? So each brand will allow you to connect on the Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok platforms. So as you can see here, I have two brands. And for my lead tagger brand, I connected Instagram. And for my Kenneth Fong brand, I connected Instagram and TikTok. So if I want to add another channel for my lead tagger brand, I can click here, click on edit, and I can click on add additional channels. And I can add um, TikTok, LinkedIn, or Facebook. And of course, add additional resources for the best AI comment suggestion. So I can add my website or various documents. Now for my lead tagger brand, I do want to add my website. So I'm gonna put my website here and click on connect now. And it says connecting website. And I also want to connect a document as well. I'm gonna click to upload. And for this example, I'm just gonna put a random um, PDF. Okay, so you can see it's loading. And keep in mind the max size is 15 megabytes, okay? So make sure it doesn't go over uh, that limit. Okay, so we can see our website is active and also our PDF. So now the AI is trained with my own uh, company information so it can more smartly reply to comments. I also wanna to touch on this right here. Ask follow-up questions in AI-generated suggestions to get higher engagement rates, okay? So you can toggle this on. So you can ask follow-up questions. So you can actually have a conversation in your comments. And then if we go to comments, now this is for my lead tagger brand. Um, I did connect my Instagram. So you could see all of these open comments here, tons of spam that automatically were tagged. So we have the option to click on check to move this to the done column, or we can choose from one of these replies right here and then go down the list. So very easy to see everything at a glance, manage all of your comments and reply to them inside this tool. Now, one important bit of information when I was reviewing the Q&A section was regarding DMs, okay? So right now, what I showed you were just comments, but there's also the feature of DMing people, okay? So just be aware that the DM feature is currently still in beta and will soon 
be integrated with AI. That's why it's been set up with future functionality in mind, and it will only be available for pro and enterprise plans. So the DM feature will not be available to AppSumo users, okay? So keep that in mind. And there's also tons of other important information you need to be aware of. And I listed all of those details in the comments below. So be sure to check them out. If you get a lot of comments and you wanna make sure you are engaging with all of them, I think this is a great tool. Also, if you manage your clients' uh, social media platforms and you wanna make sure you're on top of everything, this is also a great tool. Unfortunately, it doesn't come with the DM, upcoming DM feature because AppSumo users are only tied to the light plan updates.